Okay, and welcome back students who are taking Math for Business and Finance and Math Applications. And we're working on the Chapter 7 drill problems, and we were down to the last problem. And uh, don't mind me in that the end of the other video. Remember, I'm working these problems out as I'm going along, just as if I was a student. And so when I started looking at this problem, I thought, ah, maybe I might be able to fit it into the last video. Uh, real quick but the video was already starting to get to be a little bit longish at like 11 minutes and I had a, I have to be thinking through this problem a little bit so I made the decision instead of making this a 15 making the last video 15 17 minutes uh, I decided to uh, break it up and then just work on this problem uh, singularly okay so what do we have here um, again, now this is a little bit more complicated, right? So we have an invoice uh, am amount of $700, and the terms are 2% 10 net 60, okay. net 60, All right? So my invoice is dated 5-6, and there was a partial payment of $400. And that payment happened on 515. Now we're asking the what's being asked here is the amount of the payment to be credited and the balance outstanding because we made that partial payment. There's going to be a balance outstanding. Now the question becomes is you know was this partial payment made within the discount period? Okay. Well, if the invoice date is uh, is um, five six and it's two percent ten so ten days from five six would it ends up being five sixteen so yes the uh, date of the partial payment falls within that discount period now because we're partially paying four hundred dollars okay we can only take the discount on the amount that's being paid Okay, we're not using the uh, the full invoice amount because we're not paying the full invoice. We're only paying a, a portion of it. So we pay the 400. We actually end up getting that additional 2% credit uh, on the $400. So um, $400 at 2%. Okay, no, we can't take, all right, let me, and again, I'm thinking this through. I'm a student, okay? I can't take 2% of $400. Why? Because that's treating this as it's a list price, or an, um, and then I'm getting a discount off of the $400 that I'm paying. No, if I'm paying $400, I'm expecting to get more than the $400 back, okay? Because I'm getting that additional 2%. So in order to determine what that amount is, I'm going to take my $400 and I'm going to divide it by the, the complement or the inverse of the 2%, which is 98%, okay? And if I take the 400 and divide it by 0 0.98, I end up with $8.16. Um, yeah, that's right, $8.16. So that's like an actual credit to me because I paid the $400. Right? I had the $400 plus the $8.16, and I end up with 408.16 as the amount to be credited and then of course I can just subtract the 4816 from the $700 and end up with a payment of 291 uh, an outstanding balance of $291.84 okay all right so let me go back over that and go through the thinking again okay uh, because it's a you know as you can see I'm struggling with a little bit um, because I don't do it that often and uh, but I I'm aware of the situation right 
So this is the, the idea behind this. Our invoice is dated the, the 6th of the month. And I'm, I have uh, terms of 2% 10. Well, 10 days is 516. So I have a discount period here all the way up until 516. On 515, I actually decide to make a partial payment. Right? I'm making the partial payment of $400 that does not include the extra amount of two percent that i get for paying within the discount period okay so i'm going to be credited when you know i need to be credited back the four hundred dollars plus at my two percent and that additional two percent amount all right now the question becomes is how much is going to be credited back you know when when the other company receives that check for four hundred dollars they can't just apply the four hundred dollars to the books they actually have to apply four hundred dollars plus the additional amount and the additional amount is not based upon the four hundred dollars okay the additional amount is based upon the seven hundred dollars right? because Think of it from the perspective of if I paid the if I paid off the entire invoice, well, yeah, then I'd get a two percent discount off of the seven hundred, but that's not going that's not happening here. We're not we're not taking a discount off of what I'm being what I'm paying. I you know I'm not I should not be penalized for paying the money. Okay, so I can't take two percent of four hundred dollars. If I multiply the four hundred dollars by two percent and get eight dollars and subtract then i'm only really being credited 392 dollars you know that's obviously that's wrong thinking because i'm paying 400 dollars well, let me get my powerpoint back i'm i'm paying the 400 dollars why would they only credit me 392 right i'm losing money so the normal line of thinking of just taking the two percent is not the correct way of, of doing this. Okay, the correct way of doing this is that we have we're paying the four hundred dollars, but we need to be we're going to be credited more than four hundred dollars. Okay, and to determine that, we end up dividing by zero point nine eight or ninety eight percent. You know that's a hundred percent less my two percent is the ninety eight percent. So if I divide four hundred dollars by uh, 98 percent I end up with eight dollars and sixteen cents okay and then I add the eight dollars and sixteen cents to the 400 and I end up being credited four hundred and eight dollars and sixteen cents now that makes a lot more sense okay because yeah I pay 400 and I'm due uh, an additional amount a two percent discount and the two percent is not on the full 700 Okay, the two percent is based upon what I'm actually paying at this moment in time. Okay, and so uh, it ends up being eight dollars and sixteen cents, and then of course I take my seven hundred dollars and subtract the four hundred eight sixteen, and that leaves me a balance due of two ninety one eighty four. And for anybody who's in the workplace and who is doing this kind of work, okay, um, you know just from my experience. If you sent, if you had this bill, and you just sent the check for four hundred dollars, okay, at the end of every month, um, if you have uh, anybody who has an accounts receivable, will generally will send you a monthly statement showing what your balances are. I mean, it doesn't happen all, you know, with all companies, but most of the companies who do have. Uh, uh, large amounts of accounts receivable will run monthly statements on you and send them out to their different uh, customers so that they can see how much you know they owe on a monthly basis so you you know if you just send out a check for four hundred dollars it would not surprise me that the bookkeeper doesn't know what they're doing okay <laughs> and I know that sounds strange but you know, if I received an invoice, you know, that monthly statement back, I'm going, most likely, I'm going to see, you know, my bill for $700 on the statement, 
and the payment of $400 telling me I owe $300. Okay, and as you can see, you know, that's not right. The amount that I actually owe is the $291.84. So if it's me sending in the payment, okay, what I would do is, is I would actually either handwrite or type up, you know, everything that I just did here with a, the explanation. I would say, okay, you know, here's, I, I would show the math on the paper, all right? I would show, um, you know, here's my payment. And I'm going, you know, since I have a 2% discount, I'm going to divide by the 998%. And this is the amount that I'm going to be credited plus my $400, which shows that my actual credit to the account should be 40816. And then I'd show the math over here and show that my new balance is 291.84. And then this way, you know, the bookkeeper on the opposite end of the transaction, when they receive the payment of $400, they know to credit the 40816 they can do the math and see that it's right and if they don't understand what's going on they're going to ask their account uh, you know you know what's going on and the accountant's going to verify it and say yeah that's correct and make sure that your uh, account is correct and that you receive the extra $8.16 okay um, like i said you know this is a difficult concept for a lot of people and you can't just assume that everybody knows, okay? And if you just send in the $400 and are expecting the $8.16 back, well, most likely you're not going to even know to expect it. And you're going to uh, end up overpaying, you're paying more than what you actually should. So um, that's just a little bit of a real world experience. And hopefully you got that. And if not, you know, feel free to contact us. And with that, I'm done with the drill problems, and I'll see you over in the word problems.